Hello again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Brutus Monroe Design Team layout. So today we are playing with some new products. I am playing with some pearl embossing powder, the Family Traditions stamp set, and all of these fun chroma mists. So we have the Auburn Chroma Mist, the Acorn Chroma Mist, the Yellow Orange, the Cider, and the Tangerine Orange Chroma Mist. Now I am going to be doing some embossing, and I'm going to use the stamp set and all those fun words. So it's like a recipe um, stamp set, and it's got all those little words say homemade treats, baked with love, salad, bread, soup, pastas, desserts, appetizers, main dish, yum yum, cookies, sides, cakes, sweet treats, recipes, recipes, and homemade from the heart. Now you might be thinking, what does this have to do with your photo? Well, not really anything. And here I'm trying to decide how I want to do it to create my backgrounds. Um, my photo is a photo of me and my husband on our wedding day driving to the courthouse to get married. And so, no, it doesn't, but it does have something to do because it's all homemade and family traditions and, and just sweet little sayings, you know, sweet treats, yum, yum, homemade, you know, baked with love type things. And it doesn't really have to go with your layout. I liked the end result. I like the little words hidden inside all of this mixed media that I'm going to be putting on the background. And it really does make a very cute layout. And me and him, well, I don't so much, but I'm learning to. He loves to cook. I'm learning to love to cook. And it's something that we do. So it kind of made sense to me. So I'm going to take all those words and I line them up diagonally, as you can see here on the page. And I'm going to go ahead and use the um, embossing ink from British Monroe and the pearl powder. Right here you can see it's I'm doing the embossing because it's so magical and fun but um, I don't make you watch me stamp all those out because it did take quite a bit to get that done I did have to bring out a big stamp block so I'm just going to show you right here I've got them all I waited till it dried and I'm just going to cover the diagonal line with all these fun colors just to give it kind of a fallish background because I do have on a cream colored like tan dress um, and he has on a navy blue shirt but I just really felt like it, it worked we didn't get married in the fall but so I take and do splatters as well in the fun colors I set this aside and I let it dry when I bring it back out I take you can take a baby a baby wipe or I just took a paper towel and got a little bit of water on it and I rubbed each of those words because they did have mixed media on it but it comes right off just to make them pop back off the screen so you will see when it comes back you'll be able to see all the words and then I embellish and I just I absolutely love the way this layout turned out even though I used a food stamp set with like recipe card words for one of my wedding photos I love it. All right, so you can see now, see how the words are like, bam, you can see them, and that's just totally awesome. So this is a photo. I'm going to trim some of that headspace down just a little bit and make it a four and a half by four. We're going to pop that up on some foam tape. I'm going to go ahead and use um, liquid adhesive and ATG on the foam just to make sure that it does stay. It is warped a little bit, but you guys know when you put that much mixed media on a paper, it's going to warp. It does. And that's very thick, heavy weight cardstock I have there. So then I just take some random embellishments I have left over, and I'm going to create one big title, and it's going to say, um, "Our big heart is happy," and that's it. You know, um, because we both like to eat food, we both like to make food, and we are, you know, one. So it's just "Our big heart is happy" is going to go right there. I'm going to start taking and adding embellishments in. So. While I am doing all of that, I will have my Bruce Monroe affiliate link down below if you would like to pick up any of the fabulous items. FYI, they are having some mega super sales lately, so check that out. If you want to use my affiliate link, that would be wonderful. If not, I totally understand. It costs you nothing. Um, but some people don't want to, and that's okay with us. Um, but yeah, they have some super mega sales and I will have everything that I used linked down below with the Brutus Monroe code so you can easily find them. 
um yeah so that is pretty much gonna do it for my layout you guys i get a couple more things on here and i absolutely i love it i am in love with the way i used the stamp set i know toot my own horn um also don't leave your stickers stuck on a piece of wax paper for that long because uh, that was on there for a few months and apparently yeah there weren't stickers anymore <laughs> So I do keep using the adhesive just because there is a lot of mixed media on there. I am going to come in with a brown G2 gel pen and do my messy lines around the border because, well, I love doing that. And I just feel like it finishes off the layout quite nicely. Just to give it a little bit of, you know, closure, kind of holding everything in. Um, I do put a few rainbows that match the color of the background in here as well. And I'm just making the clusters to the right and left of my photo. The title is above and below. And the mixed media is in a diagonal. And I just think it is really cool. Um, if you would like to try this, we would love to see it uh, posted on the Brutus Monroe Inspiration page. And I believe that will be linked down below as well. So that's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next time with another video. Bye.